Hello everyone. Today we have a new job that came from a uh, computer shop. As per the uh, technician, he said that he got a new board for this laptop. So this is the old board. Uh, so the thing is, he replaced the board in the laptop, and the laptop didn't come on. So uh, let's try to turn on. Not turning on. Could it be the uh, battery is dead? Maybe. Let me switch to my power supply. There's about 20 volts. And uh, let's see. It is charging actually. Yeah. The charging light is on. So, is it, does it come on? It is coming on. The power button is on, is light, has light, but there is no picture. So, what could be the problem? Wait. Uh, okay, let me turn off the unit for a moment. Yeah, it turned off. Now let's get in BIOS mode. Will it come on in BIOS mode? Also, it's the same thing. That means maybe we have a corrupted BIOS on the board. Uh, why not I swap between the two BIOS? And see what will happen. But before all that, let me first disassemble unit, the unit, make some tests as usual, and I'll get back. So the board is out. Wow. 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 If I can show you this thing. Wow, good job guys. I don't know if you can see. Come on, you must see this. I hope you can see it. Can you see? Oh yeah, here it is. Can you see the gap between the heat sink <laughs> and the uh, I think this is a GPU, if I'm not mistaken. It's the GPU, right? No, this one's the GPU. It's the chipset, sorry. It's the chips, uh, chipset. So there's a big gap between these two. In order to get a good contact, they should never put in here for this big space. They should never put thermal paste. You can only put Thermal pads. Uh, let me just assemble the CPU. I removed the BIOS battery in order to get a BIOS reset. Yeah. There's thermal paste for no use. Okay. Let me put this away as usual testing for any let me move the light I'm putting my hopes on the processor itself or the GP or the uh, or the bias itself okay let me test uh, actually yeah in diode mode and here we have a ground. Do we have a ground? No, it's not. That's not ground. This is ground. And I think, yeah, this is a ground. Okay. Good. Yeah, this is one. This one is for the GPU. What about the CPU one? Good. Good. 
great good good we still have one over here that's good that's good that's good time to swap between two those two uh, bias memories Let us try the board right now. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the chipset as it is right now, just to make some tests first. Great. Uh, now, inserting the board. Inserting the screen. Sorry. Alright, so the screen. Let's see now. Um, it should turn on by itself without the power button. Uh, the first start up. Yep, it's on. But do we have picture? Yeah, the sign is on again. That means the processor is getting hot. Uh, could be the RAM memory. I'm just guessing right now. Now I'm just guessing. I don't have answers. Wait, what's the? Could it be we have a problem with the RAM slot? Can you see this thing? Can you see with me this thing? Oh, let us try it for that. One, are they shorted? Because if they are shorted, the system won't. Turn on, you know. I think, yeah. Let me see the other one. The other one seems to be good. It should be like this. It's not like this. You see, they are overlaid. Yeah, somehow it's good. Now well, inserting the other round. Just try one more time. Turning on. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god. The RAM memory slot is defected from the company. Uh, should I reswap the BIOS? Yes, that's for sure. I will do it. One moment. It doesn't take much, much of time. So, uh, as it seems to be that this Pen is missing, that's why the laptop didn't come on for the first time. Yeah, this pen is missing. The RAM slot is defected. Let me uh, try this board right now.
I thought they would have tested the RAM memory before. Kind of my my fault. I didn't recheck. Yeah, it's working fine, but the RAM memory slot is defected. Uh, I can't do anything for it as there's a pin missing, not even bent or something like that. It is missing, totally missing. So, let me move chassis away. I want to fix the heatsink issue that I talked about a, a moment later, earlier. Okay. Cleaning. Some cleaning over here. And uh, let me grab some thermal pads. Actually, I don't have that very thick one. I only have these ones. I think it will do the job. I think only one will do the job. What do you think? Right? Those pads look good. I need to put more thermal paste over here, just little drops. As you can see, they are, they made a good job about the thermal, the thermal uh, paste. But only this one was not that good. Was not even touching the thermal, the thermal, uh, the heating. Was it even touching the heating? What do you think right now? Is it done? Is it good? Let us see. Uh, okay. Is it good? Yeah, it's making a good contact. You see? That is a good contact. That will dissipate all the heat from the chipset to the heatsink. Great. Good job. microphone went out so I'm making a voiceover uh, and here I'm just making the final test to see if the laptop is still running on uh, as you can see the uh, hard drive is detected but uh, doesn't have maybe it doesn't have a uh, booting OS uh, but after all the uh, laptop is working fine the only problem was in the memory slot that came in uh, defected from factory nothing can be done over here uh, so and uh, that's it like and subscribe if you like the video and i will see you another job bye